Okay, so welcome back for another video. Just wanted to do a really quick video just to show you uh, an issue that's popped up on the Innovative Marine Lagoon 25 here. Uh, the last video I put up a couple of weeks ago or so was uh, a long awaited video because oh, I haven't done an update for ages. So we're back on with doing videos now and as you can see, what's popped up is this really ugly green algae which I thought initially thought it's bryopsis, which I've had before and treated successfully. Um, but after having a friend of mine over that's got uh, my local fish store, he kind of brought some bits over for me, some salt and some different supplies. Um, he confirmed that it's just green hair algae, but it looks a little bit more bushy than sort of like the sort of fine strandy green hair algae, but there's many different types, but it's, it's a big problem. Obviously it's just spreading everywhere all over the returns and over the back wall. And I know why, it's because I tried to get nutrients up and uh, been like overfeeding basically and putting lots of reef roids in just to uh, get the nutrients up, nitrate and phosphate, and obviously the organic loads has just gone through the roof and it's just uh, gone crazy. It's, the, uh, it's taken advantage of that higher nutrients. So now we've got that back in check, reduced the feeding, um, we need to get rid of this. So it's gonna be a case of, what I've used before, a really good product. Um, I started the dose on it last night, and it's uh, Flux RX by Blue Life, which basically treats all bryopsis and green hair algae. Um, I've used it before, and within, I think within a week or so, it all just turns white and starts breaking away. So I just wanted to show you just quickly in a video what we've got, how we're gonna treat it with, say, day one now. So I put it in last night and um, hopefully we, sh we should see it all disappear over the, the next week or so. But yeah, because what, what it does is it starts suffocating, um, growing all around the base of the corals and suffocating it out. Um, obviously light can't get to stuff and you can, yeah, it's, it's a big problem, as well as being really unsightly. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, just let it roll. I'm gonna check back in this time next week and show you, hopefully, uh, a big a big improvement on the tank and it should be starting to clear up. Um, what happens is it usually just turns white, from what I can remember. And um, yeah, it just sort of breaks away. But as you can see, it's all in between this candy cane here and the hysterix. Yeah. So, any comments, chuck them in the box below as always. Click that like and I'll catch you in the next one.